Let's finish on possible complication or problem with pig tube. Let's talk about infection and the most common type of infection will be simple cellulitis at the insertion site of pig tube and it's the the symptoms are the similar erythema uh, sometimes purulent discharge and the treatment usually with antibiotics oral first generation uh, cephalosporin should be enough and most of the time you don't need to do anything with the pig tube just treat the infection in some severe cases, if this become um, more severe necrotizing, let's say fasciitis, of course you need to consult surgery and most likely the pig tube will be removed. But the most common is cellulitis at the insertion site. The other problem we talked about in the last um, video about the if, if there is peritonitis or spillage of the content that we give through the pig tube into the peritoneal cavity through a hole through the hole that entered the stomach we talked about it where we stop the tube feeds and give antibiotic and call surgery there are some rare cases where the internal bolster um, will erode into the skin let's say this is the um, abdominal wall and this is the stomach here and the subcutaneous tissue the tube gets in here there is external bolster there is internal bolster if these are tight this internal bolster can erode into the gastric mucosa and get buried uh, i think they call buried bumper syndrome whatever and sometimes cause gastric ulceration here and sometimes cause bleeding if any of these happens yeah, we need to call gas gi gastroenterology or surgery or whoever put it in uh, and let them handle that uh, so you just need to know that as a resident or as a hospitalist just need in such cases absolutely call gastroenterology and let them handle this uh, just in case this happened give them IV PPI of course monitor for their bleeding but call GI right and of course stop Q feeds and make the patient NPO so these are the main things that you will encounter um, along with the main things that I mentioned in previous videos and you need to troubleshoot uh, for a pig tube. The last thing, removal. Sometimes the family will ask about removal. Removal depends what type being used um, and how to remove. But tell them usually who places it, who places it should remove it. And it's usually quick simple and can be outpatient and the hole or the tract usually close within two to three days of course it can take longer if there is issues hindering wound healing like malnutrition poorly controlled diabetics diabetes but in general takes two to three days that's it and this that's what i think as an internal medicine residence or in general as a hospitalist things that you need to know about pig tubes